City Council members is joining the chorus of calls for change in leadership at the Chicago Transit Authority. Jen Shannon Halligan here with those details. At least 20 older people have signed on to the non-binding resolution. They're demanding that CTA President Dorval Carter step down. People are very frustrated with their experience on the CTA. 48th Ward Alderwoman Lenny Manaha Hoppenworth is among a group of city council members demanding change on the city's public transit system. We should be able to go across the city of Chicago and feel safe and feel like our systems are reliable and feel like we can enjoy all, you know, every single neighborhood because transit will get us there, but we need leadership to do that. It's just the latest calls for a change of leadership at the CTA, including from Governor J.B. Pritzker. Look, a lot of changes are gonna have to take place. There's no doubt at CTA, and I think that's gonna take some new leadership and additional leadership. We've reported since the pandemic, the CTA has cut service on rail lines by 22% and service on buses by 7%. At the center of the frustration is CTA President Dorval Carter. He's served as president since 2015 under three different mayors and now makes a salary of $376,000 a year. Several publications, including the Chicago Tribune, the Sun-Times, and Crane's Chicago Business, have published editorials calling for change at the top. When asked about the calls for Carter's resignation, Mayor Brandon Johnson has said he will not discuss personnel issues publicly. On Monday, we asked again about the CTA's downfalls. The mayor would not comment on Carter, but said progress is being made. Is there more work to be done? Of course, that's why we have a full term and that's why you know, I'm looking forward to serving for the next 23 years. You know, we didn't get here overnight. What am I doing to move forward? Again, ridership is up. We're hiring more people, better streets for buses. Those plans are, 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 are in the works right now. We reached out to the CTA for a response to the alderman's resolution. In a statement, it said in part, the proposed ordinance contains both inaccurate information and misleading claims related to crime, services, and hiring efforts. The fact is bus and rail services have been added, ridership is trending upward, crime rates are decreasing, and service is more reliable. All evidence that CTA's recent efforts are working. The resolution is expected to be introduced on the 22nd of this month. It would need 26 votes to pass, though. See what happens. Shannon, thanks for that report tonight.